Good morning, good evening, good night. It is Divine Empress Queen T L C S G M. I am here with another energy soul tribe read for the lovely zodiac sign of Capricorn. All right, Capus. We are going to be doing a little chakra healing, pulling the chakra card and reading that chakra affirmation. Something that it is maybe you need to tap into, be aware of, strengthen, and then we are going to be doing a general love reading in the tarot cards for the Capricorns. And before I get into the tarot, baby. Um, and in this reading, I was channeling on the Capricorn energy, baby. And what I came up with was you are definitely in your head mentally, like stressing, can't sleep, up in your head at night about a separation. Somebody, a separation, somebody that caused you deep heartbreak. And I do feel that you are withdrawing from people or your past situations, people that no longer serve you and trying to see, maybe seek a deeper meaning out of your life. Um, yeah, I did just... Okay, and right off jump, Capricorn, what we get out here, baby? Crown chakra. I didn't need to shuffle not at all. That was just significant, baby. Stay connected to the most high, baby. Your crown chakra affirmation says, I go, I go beyond my limiting beliefs and accept myself totally. Ooh, yes, baby. Okay. Whatever it is, any kind of beliefs that's holding you back or just setting you in your ways, baby, go beyond that. And definitely accept yourself for who you are and love yourself, like the card says, totally. Yes, Capricorn. Crown Chakra Affirmation. We're going to do a little reading to open the crown chakra. Oh, no, we in a um, meditation pose. Baby, this chakra is located at the crown of the head. This chakra is the source of enlightenment in our connection to the divine baby. Capricorns, I don't know why. I'm just getting this. Do no, no one can judge you but God in yourself but don't be critical on yourself baby and whatever beliefs that you have okay definitely love yourself stay connected to god the most high baby pray okay what it is you're just walking through your day baby and saying a little prayer being grateful thankful okay yeah you're definitely having some problems with some kind of beliefs in your head. Maybe some kind of ways that you were brought up. Some kind of traditions, baby. You got to tap in and know who you are. And know that God loves and accepts you for who you are, baby. Stay connected. That's all I can say. Stay connected. Whew, Lord. Okay, key concepts are enlightenment, consciousness, divine connection, and oneness. It's called as violet and element cosmic energy. Capricorn, yes. With this crown chakra, maybe you need to stay connected. And I'm feeling like, yeah, with you walking away from people that no longer serve you, you going within, baby. You getting a deeper meaning out of life and what it is that you want, baby. Okay. Yes. I love that. Definitely seek a deeper meaning out of life 
and know what it is that you want or who you are and love who you are. Okay. Yes, baby. Oh, what he did, Capricorn. We can really get right on up in this tarot. After this crown chakra healing and affirmation, baby. Ooh, get out of your head. I'm definitely feeling that. Yeah, he was definitely in your head mentally about situations or beliefs. not healthy it's very ooh, definitely not healthy mentally uh what we got here nine of swords on the bottom not healthy mentally yes ooh. Mm -mm -mm. okay wow baby we got the high priestess out here capricorn okay okay what and we got the three of pentacles that fell out here okay then we had the ace of cups all three cards fell out here all right capricorn um right now i am feeling baby this high priestess card baby you definitely wanting to seek a deeper love and meaning out of your life and out of your relationships. Maybe it's somebody that is somebody that you want to marry with this high priestess energy, baby. She could be very in tune, intelligent, baby. Uh, high priestess keeper of the unknown secrets, baby. This is somebody that you want to work together with, come together with in a relationship. Definitely collect. You definitely, and with this Ace of Cups out here, baby, this is somebody who you want to offer uh, love to. A new beginning in love, baby, in your life. Let's see what else comes up. This one to flip up. Whoop. Five of Swords, baby. This is somebody maybe you want to offer a cup of love with, baby, but honey, there's some conflict and confusion in this situation, in this love proposal offer, baby. Maybe there's somebody you feel like you can't trust or they feel like they can't trust you, but it's definitely been some conflict, some fighting, people trying to win at all calls or don't care who they hurt in this love situation. Yee! Uh-huh, Queen of Pentacles, baby. So it's Virgo Capricorn energy. This is somebody that you feel is like motherly energy, okay? With this judgment card, this is somebody that you want a second chance with. This could be the mother of your ch children, or this could be somebody that's just that's very motherly and grounded and down to earth. She takes care of herself. She definitely has her own money with this Queen of Pentacles sitting in her lap, okay? She's connected with the animals, nature. This could be somebody you, yeah, ooh, tower card, baby. This here gonna be something happening, baby. Something unexpected, a big old change. Ooh, 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 eight of cups, baby. Okay, somebody that you walked away from, baby. Okay, you no longer walk away from them. This is, gonna, this is what it's going to be. It's a big surprise, a change in your life. Oh, gee. It's going to be a big tower because you're going to come. you getting ready. It's going to be surprising because you, you want to come together with somebody that you walked away from in your past. Now you want to come together with them and maybe possibly see marriage. Oh, and gee, yeah. Okay, we're going to get some clarification cards out of this Capricorn once I pull a few more cards. Alrighty, then uh, let's see what we got out here. 
these three didn't want to go in, so I'm going to keep them out here. See what it is. Baby five of pentacles. Somebody feeling left out in the cold. Okay, could be um, in financial lack right now. Two of pentacles. This is somebody you put, you was indecision about. You couldn't, you um, was in two minds about. You was juggling. You was juggling people, and now you feel left out in the cold from a situation, from a relationship. OMG, the Hierophant out here. The Hierophant and the High Priestess, baby. This could be a divine union, a divine strong couple, baby. OMG, with this Empress card on the bottom. There's definitely some marriage taking place with somebody that you was married to, somebody that you want to marry. We're going to get some more clarification. One more card. One more card. There it is. Thank you. Please and thank you. One more card. What flipped out here? We got the hangman. What I say? Yes, you definitely have what the hangman. You definitely have just been you going within or trying to go within, blocking out people that no longer serve you, baby. This is up. Yeah, you definitely went within. And you gather your thoughts and your emotions, baby. And there's somebody that you want a second chance with in a relationship. Somebody that you could have been married to. Or somebody that you want to marry. You want them to give you a second chance. You went within your thoughts and you know definitely that you want a higher level of commitment with them. OMG. Now, here we definitely come in with some clarification cards, baby. Okay, with this Eight of Cups in the reverse. You didn't... Oh, this is what this is. This Eight of Cups in reverse. You, um... You were kind of sacrificing your own happiness. You were staying around people or situations or relationships that you know you weren't truly in love with. And this is what's going to be the unexpected change that you may be walking, that you are going to walk away from it. This is what's going to be surprising, I think. And that you want to work with work in a situation, collab with someone else, maybe. Ooh, it's two different stories out here, Capricorns. Okay. Yes, but that one is definitely strong. The tower is what, yeah, you definitely want to walk away from people and staying in situations that you no longer really want it. Ooh. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what we want to get a clarification for our own. Says the film is two of pentacles and it's five of pentacles. Okay. You you feel left out in the cold because you was juggling somebody that was like your soulmate, somebody who you were very attracted to that you saw a loving union with, a relationship, baby. And you pos you want to reconcile with them. I did say in the beginning, Capricorn, what I say. In the beginning, I was channeling on your energy. You was definitely in your head mentally. Can't sleep. Just, you know, blocking everybody out because of a separation from somebody. OMG. Come through energy. Woo. Okay. Yes, yes, and yes. That's what that is. All right. With the lovers on the card. Gemini card, baby. This is somebody, yeah, definitely, that you definitely, with the two cups that was, a, that you felt like it was a soulmate connection, you juggled them, you lost them, now you feel left out in the cold. You felt a very strong connection 
an attraction to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Let's get a clarification card for this Eight of Cups in reverse of what you holding on to people in situations in your life that you know you didn't want. This tower card, this up, unexpected change, upheaval, of death. Um, that card want to come out. Ooh, ooh, baby. Yes, yes. You definitely didn't want you in, in it because you're standing in relationships and people and things that you know don't really serve you. It's definitely causing mental imprisonment, mental entrapment in your head. Disorders, yeah. Um, and it may soon be with this tarot card yet yeah, this unexpected change it's going to be some bonds broken um, being honest with yourself is going to bring some kind of change when you get out of your head and you went within and you yeah oh energy you know what, what it is who it is that you want in a relationship um If you definitely was in your head mentally. Self imprisoning yourself in your own ways and thoughts. But I feel this definitely gonna big be a big change in that situation of you doing things that way, you moving that way. Yep. Six of swords on the bottom. Wow. You definitely moving away from things that people that no longer serve you. You're trying to move to calmer waters from all this drama and, and tower moments, upheavals, baby. You want to move to from turbulence to smooth sailing. <laughs> smooth sailing for real. Okay. And you, yes, you want harmony and peace in your life. You're definitely moving away from drama. And like I say, you could have been, you could right now have been recovering from some kind of illness too, Capricorn. Some kind of sickness. Mm-hmm. Be mentally in your head. Definitely causing yourself a mental, well, having a mental illness. And from this situation, this relationships, and now you're having some kind of clarity, baby. You've went within, and you're moving to common waters, definitely. OMG, let's get one from this. <laughs> wow, I was going to get, and being in your head a lot, because you've been spying on someone. Very, someone's been spying on you. And you want to send someone a message. Possibly, but you've definitely been spying on somebody. I always want to get a clarification card for this hard friend and this hang one. Somebody you've been spying on that you've been watching that you want a higher level of commitment with. Yep. And you get ready to come in with some communication, bring some truth, and let that person know, okay, that you've got mental clarity, you went within, and you want um, a breakthrough in this situation, in this relationship. You want a second chance, and you want to maybe further higher level that commitment. All right, Capricorns. We gonna leave it here with this Ace of Swords on the bottom. Nothing but the truth. Okay, baby. Hunties. I don't know how this is gonna go. But I do see you might try to give it a go. You are walk away from things that no longer serve you, and you're sad and in deep regret left out in the cold from a soulmate that you walked away from that you juggled with with another person okay any whom baby if this resonated with it resonated with you if this is your story like share and subscribe maybe even drop a comment for your girl um Sending positive energy out to the Capricorns, strength, healing, and as I always say, babies, 
pray, meditate, namaste, and I'm out.